I interviewed Billy Saul Estes in Dayton, Ohio. Billy Saul Estes was a Texan, very close to powerful people, including some of whom, uh, some of uh, uh, very close to Lyndon B. Johnson's uh, powerful friends in Texas. And he wound up, uh, I, I forget, it's, it's a very complex scandal that he was involved in, involving oil drums and uh, money, and no one could get Billy Saul Estes uh, on television. And I find out he's at a church on the west side of Dayton. So we jump in the car and we go over with the cameraman and he sits down and I interview Billy Saul Estes. Holy cow. And I called the CBS Evening News. We were a CBS affiliate from Dayton. And I said, I got Billy Saul Estes. And they said, you what? I said, I got him. They said, we want it right now. So we rush it, we process the film, we rush it to the airport. They have a motorcycle waiting at what was then Idlewild Airport in New York City to pick up the film and they rush it and it's the first, the first show on the Cronkite show that night, uh, this, would be, this would be 60s, was the opening of Congress, and the second show was Billy Saul Estes. And you could see my right hand on CBS News, coast to coast. Well, come on, I mean, what's thrilling to you? And... I remember the next day the phone rang. <clears throat> the voice on the other other phone said, <clears throat> Bill, this is Walter Cronkite. That was a hell of a story you brought us last night. I said, well, thank you, Walter. I, I think I said, thank you, Mr. Cronkite. He said, call me Walter. Uh, thank you, Walter. Me and Walter. <clears throat> so uh, not long after that, pardon me, <clears throat> not long after that, I sent my tape recordings and my application for work at CBS News to Walter Cronkite. What would you do? And I didn't get a job. But once again, I flirted with greatness. I mean, oh, I came this close to actually working for CBS News. I can remember in West Virginia covering the primary and just looking at these network reporters and thinking, I got Dayton, they got the whole country. I just was overwhelmed by their power. And they were all busy, you know. What time, I would say, what time do you think uh, Senator Kennedy will be? You find out, we'll both know, kid. You know, they were always so cold, you know, and busy. Uh, but I was awed by them. I was awed by them. I mean, network, wow. It's, it really, it's, it's uh, the network was the bigs the big leagues, and I wasn't a part of it. I wasn't doing too badly, though. Billy Saul Estes and uh, Walter Cronkite with my hand. Called my folks at home, they saw my hand. It was a wonderful experience. I feel very, I get pumped just talking about it.